Hello dear students, now we will try to understand how to calculate equivalent EMF when two cells are connected in series, okay, series combination of cells. Let me consider two cells connected in series. The first cell, I will name it as EMF of the first cell, let it be E1 and its internal resistance is R1. EMF of the second cell is E2 and its internal resistance is R2. Some current is flowing in the, okay, I is the current which is flowing. I will name some points here, say this point is A, okay, this point is B and this point let it be C. Now what is our purpose? We want to replace this combination of cells into a single cell, okay. The equivalent circuit will look like this. We are going to replace these two cells by a single cell of EMF, E equivalent and internal resistance are equivalent. Current should be same I, this point is A, this point is C. Okay. Now we know the relationship between EMF terminal potential difference current and internal resistance that is V equal to E minus IR. So what we will do here we calculate what is the potential difference between A and B first? Okay, what is that? Potential difference between A and B, VAB is equal to VA minus VB. Okay, VA minus VB. So, what is that equal to? V is equal to E minus IR. E1 minus I into R1. Okay, next. What is VBC? VB minus VC that is equal to E2 E2 minus IR2 E2 minus I into R2 then what is VAC okay VAC is equal to VAC equal to right to understand VAB plus VBC okay VAB plus VBC what is VAB? VAB equal to E1 minus IR1. E1 minus IR1. Plus, what is VBC? VBC equal to E2 minus IR2. E2 minus IR2. Now, what happens? VAC equal to VAC equal to E1 plus E2. E1 plus E2. Okay minus i into r1 plus r2. So, what I have taken? I have taken minus i common. Now, if you look at this equation, okay, if you look at this circuit, okay, we can write an equation. What is that equation? VAC is also equal to, VAC is also equal to E equivalent minus i into r equivalent. E equivalent minus i into r equivalent. Now, what happened? Try to uh, understand. See. E equivalent is analogous to E1 plus E2. R equivalent is analogous to R1 plus R2. So, if you observe these two equations, we can write. Therefore, E equivalent E equivalent is equal to E1 plus E2. R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. Hope you can understand. Thank you very much.